Mexico, Island of Enchantment. Come join us today for a visit to one of our favorite places to hike in nature, a relaxing piece of heaven not far from the metro area. Hello everyone, welcome to Road Tales. Today we have the day off work, so we're going to our favorite little hiking spot, just an hour west of San Juan. This is part of the Reserva Natural de Laguna Tortuguero, and if you want to find it on the map, you should enter Los Tubos MTB Trail. This place has a lot of mountain biking trails, but also a couple really beautiful hiking trails where you can spend time in the middle of nature. It's never crowded, and at the end of this trail to the left, there's a beautiful hidden beach. Now we're gonna go take a beautiful walk. We hope you guys enjoy this trail as much as we do. Today's adventure starts with a 50 minute drive through the northeast of the island to the town of Manati. If you're driving from San Juan, you will pass the sculpture park at Playa Los Tubos before you get there. The parking area is at kilometer marker 6.5 on road 685 in Manati. Close to Playa Los Tubos in Manati, this park is an excellent place to hike, ride bikes, do bird watching, or just relax and admire nature. This park has several different mountain biking trails from easy to advanced. Today, we will be walking the trail that starts on the left of the park entrance and goes a little over a mile. At the end of the trail, there is a beautiful hidden beach. The Los Tubos Mountain Bike Trail Park is part of the Laguna Tortuguero Nature Reserve. Volunteer groups dedicated to preserving the area have cleaned and helped build up the trail. This is Playa del Fotografo, or the Photographer's Beach. About 20 minutes into your hike, you will see a small trail that goes off to the left with the sign Playa del Fotografo. This is a moderately difficult little side hike that will take you down a rocky slope to a lovely tiny beach. This beach is a great place to do an engagement or wedding photo shoot, or to just enjoy the peaceful isolation and the sound of the waves crashing on the rocks. Our favorite thing about this park is that it's one of the only places close to San Juan where you can still enjoy nature in its pristine state. It's worth mentioning that there are no bathrooms or facilities at this park. It's a wonderful place to observe the endemic flora and fauna of the area. You'll come across lizards, many interesting species of birds, and hermit crabs of all shapes and sizes which are super fun to watch. You may even find edible passion fruits and coconuts that have fallen from the trees. At the end of the main trail, you will discover a glorious hidden beach. While this beach is way too dangerous for swimming, it is one of the most beautiful beaches on the north coast of the island. It's the perfect place to escape the crowds and booming music of the more popular party beaches. Here, you can have a romantic picnic, make sandcastles with the family, or just relax and absorb the gorgeous blues and greens of the sea and sky. If you're a nature lover, this park is the perfect getaway from the noise of the city. It's also very close to two must-see swimming beaches, Mar Chiquita in Manati and Playa Puerto Nuevo in Vega Baja, so it's a great stop on a north coast road trip. We hope our fellow nature lovers will get the chance to enjoy this wonderful patch of paradise on their visit to Puerto Rico. Thank you so much for watching, and please remember to subscribe for more Puerto Rico travel tips. Go out, live, explore, and make colorful memories that will last for a lifetime.